Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm over here at the Luxor and I'm waiting for the tram, right? Then I ran into this other YouTuber, right? She's like, uh, you know, got a little tripod going on. She's wearing this big floppy hat, right? And then so, standing in this very spot, right? I witnessed that the wind blew her hat over the edge and she went running for it. Oh boy, did she run for it. She ran all the way down these, uh, this ramp over here and then you see her going down over there and then she ran and at first she was going fast and then she started slowing down and then eventually she made it down and she got her hat now if anyone out there is thinking YouTube is easy no it is not especially if you're a hatted youtuber but anyway black bear diner is a local favorite I looked it up there are many locations and it's like like very good reviews with thousands of like you know what I mean? Really good stuff. And it's my first time here. The menu is a newspaper. All right. Wow, the font is quite small, guys. I'm just going to uh, skip showing you the menu and just order something nice and cheap. My goodness, guys, the prices here are so good. Check it out. Sure, I'll like take your uh, full course home style dinner. Okay. With the Bigfoot chicken, chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak, yes. All right. How you, do you have the mashed potatoes, baked potato, coleslaw, fruit? Are you asking about the sides. the tooth sides? Yeah. Ah, may I please have the uh, onion rings? Okay. And your garlic parmesan toast. All right. Super salad with chicken noodle or cheese broccoli tonight. Chicken noodle, please. Chicken noodle. You got it. All right, thank you. And do you take this back or no, is this like... No, you can keep it. And just, if you want dessert, it's all in the back, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Never seen a newspaper menu before. How interesting, guys. According to this uh, placemat here, which has history in it, Black Bear Diner came from uh, Northern California in 1995. How interesting. Something about... The original place has a lot of black bears walking around. Tap water. So while we're waiting for the food, I'll tell you about the menu because God forbid, you know, anyone have the uh, eyes to be able to see the menu. Like, I mean like on the screen, you know what I mean, right? So. Let's see, it is a breakfast, lunch, and dinner place. It has uh, waffles and French toast and breakfast items and omelets and scrambles. Classic egg combos and the prices are extremely good. We got over here some uh, Benedicts and then you got sides of breakfast items are also extremely cheap. Like for example, you can get uh, one ham steak for $4.99. Oh, oh, hi. There you go. Terrific, thank you. Yes. Oh, this is strange, guys. Take a look. The little bit of soup comes in a, like a checkered cup on a checkered saucer on a checkered plate. Now, I think that they did not need to put that much like a checkered stuff. You know what I mean? It could have just been that on that or this on that. You know, you know, but interesting that they went with this. I wonder why, guys. I wonder why. I estimate this to be about six ounces. So now let's try the chicken soup. Wow, it's pretty good. It's like very chickeny. Mm. 
It tastes like they uh, killed a lot of chickens to make the soup. I like how it's not broken. Mm. Back to the menu. They also have a burger section. And it comes with fries or soup or etc. etc. In like the 11, 12, and 13 dollar price. Pretty good, guys. Hmm. There are sandwiches for about the same price. A salad section. Hmm. On the bottom here, they have was called a little less, which is a smaller portion. Hmm. So for example, you can get a half a sandwich and, and a bowl of soup for like $10.29. Then of course they have the Full course home style dinner, dinner combos, diner deals, Friday and Saturday dinner specials. Well, that's how interesting. For on Fridays, they have all you can eat fish fry. Now, why have I not heard about this before? Flaky white fish fillets, lightly breaded and deep fried, served with french fries, hush puppies, coleslaw, and tartar sauce. For fourteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, or you can eat fish fry. Oh my God! Guess who's coming back for that? So when the waitress gets back, I'm gonna ask her about the or you can eat fish fry. That's I'm really curious about that. That's right. Oh, terrific. Thank you. Uh, will you happen to know anything about the, the fish fry that's on Fridays all you can eat? It's Alaskan Pollock. Uh, uh -huh. It's Alaskan Pollock breaded with panko breading, so it's kind of like fried shrimp uh, coating. And it, you get uh, three fillets initially, and on your reorders you get two. It comes with lemon and tartar sauce. It's really I see. Good, really popular. Do you have to eat everything, like the hush puppies and all the other oh, stuff? No, no? The no? fish itself is what's all you can eat. Ah, oh, terrific. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Right. Okay. Is there anything else I can bring for you? Oh, no, it's looking really good. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. Okay. Wow. Or you can eat pieces of fish. That sounds like my kind of place. I'll be back Friday. They're going to be sorry, guys. They're going to be sorry. Chicken fried steak. Well, guys, they sure put a big effort into the presentation. They twisted the orange. And it comes with like some like, I don't know, butter lettuce. And over here is the onion rings they asked for and the garlic parmesan toast. Interesting, guys. Let's see how it tastes. So, let's try the chicken fried steak without the gravy. There's some edges that has no gravy on it. So give that a try first.
It's really good, guys. Give it 8.5. It's even better than the one I had at Jerry's Nuggets. You know, like a month ago. Wow, it's really good. Alright, now let's try with the country gravy. That's a nice country gravy. It's like it doesn't alter the flavor of the chicken fried steak. And uh, it's also really good. So it's like you're just eating two things at once. The gravy is good, 8.5. The chicken fried steak is good, 8.5. Let, let me be sure. Just the gravy. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's two different things, but they're both equally good. Put it together, equally good. All right, now the toast. Some gravy got on it, so I'm gonna try the dry piece here. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good, good, good. It's like a nine. They did a really good job, like, I think the garlic on it is toasted. Let's see, onion ring. This looks more like an onion donut, especially from this side, right? <laughs> okay, onion ring. Dip in some of the sauce. I like these onion rings because it's not overly crunchy. You know how sometimes it's overly crunchy, then you bite into it and then the onions just like come out the other end because it's like that? Let's see if that happens. No! Let's see what happened to this one. I'm gonna get fancy here.
Mmm, tastes so much better. You know, that was kind of a joke, but it ended up actually tasting so much better. So, all right, guys. Black Bear Diner, located near the uh, premium outlet mall, you know, so it's near the strip. It's like you take the deuce bus down, then you gotta walk through the mall, and here it is. Excellent stuff, guys. And I'll be back one of these Fridays, and they're gonna kick me out. They're gonna be like, sir, there's too much fish. <laughs> <laughs>